My favorite pisser? What are you talking about? Is that all I am to you? Yeah. All right. I can live with that. Hang on. I'm setting a YouTube video. XCOM meets Indiana Jones? Question mark. Three question marks. The lamp lighters. Let's make sure we got the apostrophe in the right place. A lot of people don't know how uh, hard it is to be a streamer. You got to go search your email inbox. You got to go find this right there. You got to copy and paste that. And then you got to type in. This video came from my stream on the on September 28th, 2023. Catch me live from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. PT every weekday here. And then the thumbnail we made yesterday. And then Daddy of Five really ruined it for everybody else, man. I gotta go, no, there's no children in this video. Show more. Yes, this video is FTC, FCC, CDC compliant. It does contain paid promotion like a sponsorship. We're gonna schedule that for today. At uh, we'll set that at 2 p.m. even, but first we have to go unlisted mode. I know, also known as as crazy mode. Then I go to monetization because I'm the only moral YouTuber. I turn off the monetization on the video because I already Jay. I don't know if you're in the same boat here. I already I'll double dip on YouTube and Twitch, but if I'm sponsored, I'm not making you watch an ad in the middle of your ad. That's just that's too far. That's a little something I, I can offer, a little, let's call it the honey, the, the opiate of the masses. Then, because it's on listed, we're going to go look at this. We would like to have a pinned comment. Okay, my pinned comment usually ends up being something like this. Give it to me straight, Doc. Am I the best to ever do it? See if you can beat me when October, when the Lamplighters League comes out on October 3rd. Check it out here. No, you got me twisted, okay? I did not, I, I do appreciate you saying I'm not going to cancel my sub because I'm going away for two weeks. But that's not what I meant. You definitely should not cancel your sub. I'll be in hell. But what you shouldn't do is say, hey, it's the last day of September or September. I'm going to give out like 200 gifted subscriptions. And then it's like a minute before the stream ends. And I'm like, thanks. Bye. See you on Halloween. See you never. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> to be honest with you, this is, uh, I mean, I know I've been away a lot this year. I don't necessarily feel the need to justify myself, but I will say that going uh, away to Orlando for eight days with my two nieces was not uh, restorative. <laughs> I had a great time. Don't get me wrong, but it was, uh, it was not necessarily restorative. I, I need two weeks. I'll come back better, happier, more productive. On the hunt, librarian, thank you. I also knew when I put the exclamation point away, some people would say... Um, well, whatever you do, I'm going to do the opposite. Whatever people say I am, that's, that's what I'm not. And that's fine too. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Good sleep. Yeah, it would be nice. Slash marker. Um, Eliza P. That boy's a liar. That boy's a liar. His nose is growing. That boy's a liar. She'd be like Dunana, calling me Dunana, 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 Dunana. He'd be like Dunana, calling me Dunana, 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 Dunana. You think I don't know Ice Spice? Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, Ninja Air Fryer, best French fries recipes for Ninja Air Fryer. Ninja Air Fryer, best chicken tenders, air fryer, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, chicken breast. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Keith Jr. and. Ziz, Zixi, Zixi, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Let's get it going here. Sorry. Let's get it going. Lies of P. Keith Jr., great ride today. We had, some, we had some crazy competition on the egg carton today. No disrespect. Have you noticed that like the egg carton is kind of, 
you know when your oven, like you cook a frozen pizza in it and then there's like a little flour and maybe like a little bit of melted cheese that's uh, like chilling in your oven. But then the next time you cook something, probably another frozen pizza, you burn that shit off in like the first 10 minutes. I feel like that's what happened to the, uh, the egg carton, man. Like now, instead of there being a, a diverse assortment of effort and ability levels, it's just all Tour de France competitors. It's all people that are like, I'm not even going to say at the same level because I kind of got my ass beat this morning, but like it, there, there's no, oh, sorry, no game sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's no, um, don't, don't take this the wrong way. There's no fodder. <laughs> it's just people with the, that, that have got gas, man. You see the clip of Limmy stretching like this? And then he flexes his bicep and then it zooms in on his face and he goes, I'll send your da flying, wee man. Fucking knock your da flying, wee man. It's a really good one. <laughs> I haven't seen all the good Limmy clips lately, but uh, I mean, I don't think it's as good as I'm not your dad, I knew your dad. I don't think it's quite as good as uh, he's nowhere near me. But I do like uh, I'll send your da flying wee man. He said it in a funnier voice too. I mean, he's the goat. I'm just an imitator, just a pale imitation. Hey, Rex Mechanica. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Hello, Tomo. Hey, hey. first off, again, thank you, Rex Mechanica. Can I just say, Tomo, what was the idea this morning, buddy, when you threw up in your own water dish? Like, you really couldn't have moved an, an inch to the side? He made it easier for you? Well, it's not easier, necessarily, because I had to clean the water dish instead of just using a paper towel on the floor. It was Dasani. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a plus two. Good news, they found water on the moon. Bad news, it's Dasani. Definitely, if, if I ever made a book of, of my tweets, that one would be in there, in the Greatest Hits chapter. Stolen bit, it's my own joke. Just because you saw it posted on iFunny in the eighth grade doesn't mean I wasn't the original source, bro. The Baby Yoda tweets your best tweet? You know what's crazy about the Baby Yoda tweet? Is that it only has like 2,000 likes. I mean, that's a good number, don't get me wrong. It means it didn't escape its intended audience. But the one that says, wait, there's a Baby Yoda, that means Yoda, my man. Cry laughing emoji. For the amount that I reference it, you would think that that must have had like 50,000 likes. It does not. Damn, my ass was wrong about the Romeo Fortnite tweet, by the way. Sorry, Pharaoh. That's all right. It happens. I mean, it's, it's right in that sweet spot right now, right? I said yesterday, like, the ideal amount of likes for a tweet for me is, like, 3,000. Because you get to make people laugh and get some dopamine, but without having it get outside of its intended audience, then you gotta deal with people that are like, I'm actually in Gen Z, and my English class is nothing like Fortnite. We actually just read Shakespeare. And then you gotta deal with someone in Gen X that's like, you know, Gen X English class. Hey, everybody, uh, put your phones away. Oh, wait, they don't exist yet. Oh, hey, everybody, your parents are here to pick you up. Just kidding. Um, both of your parents work. Take the school bus home and open the door with a key you keep around your neck. But right now it's still, it's in the pocket, which I appreciate. That was the Millennials too, though. See, there's the thing, is you, you're outside of the intended audience of your tweet. I'm sorry. It's just the damn truth. As soon as you start, you know, nitpicking the joke or trying to add, like, some context to the joke, I don't want you to see the joke. I want to go back to, I mean, social media is great for reach, don't get me wrong. But I want to go back to unilateral joke transmission where the audience has no meaningful impact on the reception of the joke itself. I want it to be one man or woman on stage 
telling a joke, judging the reception by the amount of laughter that they receive in the audience. And everybody else laughing because they paid um, $100 to be there. And there's a two drink minimum, which doesn't even make sense to me, but that's a tornado. I should have been in there. I should have been in there. How many bosses after this guy chat? Is my impression of someone on Twitch enjoying a video game? Wow, this game is really good. How long till it's over? Me checking my uh, my watch during Oppenheimer. Oh fuck, there's only three hours left. I better sit back and appreciate it. Plus two, but they could just be curious. We don't need your tone policing. If you laughed at the joke, the joke deserves to exist. Oh! Okay, I mean, you're already blue as hell, brother. Okay, no, no poke in between that one. Little Goblin Jr. gonna cry? That's gonna be hands on the ground. He doesn't do tornado in this house anymore. Told you. Tornadoless existence. Tornadoless behavior. He's scared. He needs some space. I needed some space. Worst attack blocks. Things you love to see. Hands on the ground. We run away. Hit me with another one! Yeah! Okay, okay, that's my bad. Bad news for you, brother. <laughs> Huge fight. Okay, dude, we are doing... We did something a little more special that time. That one, we got a dodge at the end of it. Duly noted. stepping into that one. Oh, I was like five seconds late on the button press. I really thought I was going to get a stagger there. That's the, it's kind of an insane thing to bet on. Hi, Tomo. Just, just chill for a minute, brother. Why would you bet on a stagger, bro? You lost your mind. Okay, Cimarron. We stay simmering. Keep your distance. You need lubrication, honey. My kielbasa sausage has just got to perform. No, 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 phase two! <laughs> phase two of <with> phase two! <laughs> Ooh.
That was really good, though. That felt pretty solid. What other um, Disney movies do you think that they should make into Dark Souls games? Elemental would be a pretty good one, for sure. Elemental would be a good one. Me waiting for the... I don't know why this joke just popped into my head. Me waiting for the Elden Ring DLC. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I, I, listen. That's a plus too. That's <laughs> duly noted. Hey, I got another tweet percolating, but I really don't want this one to get outside of its intended audience. Something goes something like this. Hey, you know why they call the show Asuka? Because I'll suck a yo dick rather than watch a single episode of it on Disney Plus available now. What do you think about that one? That one's really bad. I know. I mean, did you see Thrawn? Like, the dude looks like a Roblox character. Me watching the first five episodes of Asuka waiting for Thrawn to show up. Where are you? <laughs> It's gonna work every time. The mathematics will be correct every time. You need a longer stick? I've been thinking that. I wish I hadn't invested so much in this uh, in this dex weapon that has the range of like a like a conductor's baton. Can't you just change the handle? Isn't the handle dex pilt? I'll be honest. I don't. Hey, relax. I don't even know how to look at that shit. Oh! <laughs> Technique is dexterity? Yeah, I know. This is a- it, it, this is like an A or a B scaling with, uh... With technique. It's D? It's A in advance? Why the hell did I level this thing up? Also, what the hell is advance? It's elemental damage? What am I doing? It's hard to pivot before we beat this boss. Just because we're... Maybe not quite there yet, but we're, we're knocking pretty well. You pivoted from the umbrella mid-boss to this weapon on the last boss? Yeah, I know. And where did that get me? It got me this dog shit weapon. It's, it, people were like, scale it. Then as soon as I, I scaled it, they were like, we meant scale the handle. How have you only noticed now? I would say because I'm like a normal guy who doesn't know what the fuck half of the keywords in this game mean. You're going blue mode. Oh no. Back foul beast. He hyper stalled me. Get blued on. Okay, okay, look at this. It's called compound interest, buddy. Look at that. Look at that tick damage, bro. Oh. Stop. That, I was gonna say, some of those attacks become impossible to dodge. <laughs> to be honest, you're struggling because you're only using 50% of the game's tools. To be honest, I'm having a great time. So maybe you should try using 50% less tools. I will change the handle on my weapon, though. We got too many damn engineers in the chat, man. Can we get, like, engineers? I know you they're probably busy right now at a party or something. Going out to cool restaurants with hot chicks. But if you have any friends of yours who majored in history or English, or classics, or something like that. Could each of you get one of them to join the chat to balance it out a little bit? We have too much STEM energy here. Go to weapon assembly. Is that the same as assemble weapon? New assemble weapon, okay. One of these, and then a technique scaling handle. Oh, the booster glaive handle, mayhaps. The slash down 
error is no bueno. I gotta be honest, macros, I don't know what the hell that means. The slash down arrow is no bueno. Slash down. Is there a Cloudflare, Cloudflare problem today? The slash down arrow is no bueno. No bueno Spanish for no good? I thought it meant doesn't have hazelnuts. You're using a slashing handle with a stabbing weapon. <laughs> It's not going 3,000, I'll tell you that much. Give me a second to cook. You never know, man. My technique is at 40. Our damage might be crazy now. Looks exactly the same. What was I doing before? Oh, okay, I see the problem. It, my attacks take a lot longer now because of my windup. Kind of messes with my turn timing a little bit. It's okay, just let it work for a minute. Let him simmer on it. Does it do way more damage? I think it does like 10% more. And it takes me like 8% longer to attack. So, I'm not sure it was really worth the... Loss of muscle memory. That's net positive. Motherfucker, you work for a, a bank trying to juice your returns by 2% by adding in like a triple leverage NASDAQ fund? Why don't you just lower your management fee, bitch? Jack Bogle's taking eight basis points. Don't just run it back then. See, this is, I, I've got to remember that I'm in charge of my own life. I said, you know what, pe people, they love to go on this website and lie. If you change your handle, your weapon will be better. Change my handle to the best scaling technique weapon we had. It's the same, which has lowered our inertia a little bit. And now we're getting ourselves a little deeper into insanity because they're going to say, yeah, but you did it wrong. We wanted you to do it the right way instead. Maybe the secret does exist here. It's because you're using a slashing handle on a stabbing blade. Most normal medieval weapon enthusiast? Listen. I think I'm gonna let him kill me. And then I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a rapier handle. And if that doesn't work, then we're just gonna run back the same weapon we already had where we got the boss down to like 25% of his total HP. Wintry Rapier's Handle. It's equivalent for stabbing. Okay. But then I didn't actually apply it. Okay, do it again. Silliest looking weapon of all time. We're going to have to be, like, right in the boss's face. <laughs> All of this, I wanted a longer weapon. Now look at this shit. This looks like a damn corn dog. Don't you have other blades? Here we go. Just change the handle. It's easy. You change the handle to the optimum handle. Don't you have other blades? It, didn't, it never ends, man. Head to the mirror on the ship in Act 1, and you can respec your entire character. It's very good for Act 2, when you have to fight Andariel in, in the Butcher's Catacombs. It's true, man. I'm not saying this is everything wrong with society. You can draw your own conclusions on that. But you're right. Why is it that uh, so many people... Their first instinct is not just to get better. Their first instinct is to make everything easier. The egg carton, that's not the energy that we embody on the peloton, okay? I, I, I thought I had you spaced. Quite frankly. Good attack, good attack. Isn't that human nature? Maybe for you. Why did humans invent wheels instead of just pushing the rocks harder? Well, we invented wheels, our asses have the same level of happiness that we did in the pre-wheel era. Maybe the pleasure doesn't come from the invention unless you're the inventor. The pleasure comes from the, the toil. 
Give you the pleasure comes from, from the job well done. It doesn't come from doing the job well. Insane take. Well, listen, we don't have self-reported surveys on happiness from prehistory, so I just have to fill in the blanks with my own biases, okay? People seem pretty happy in prehistory. They were painting livestock on cave walls and stuff like that. They were doing lots of weaving. They must have had a lot of free time because they invented fucking language. Which is crazy. I mean, these days people are too busy to invent language. Is this the last boss? I'm willing to say it. We have a problem in society. Anytime there's something mildly difficult, the, the two most common reactions are how do we make this easier? And is this the last thing I have to do before nap time? We got to steal ourselves to some harder challenges. This is, this is Woody and Buzz Lightyear. This is a toy. You got to relax a little bit. You don't have to do it in the first place. This is completely optional. This is, these are bonus marks. By the way, Quinana, I, I do appreciate I saw the cadence was a little bit higher today. I appreciate you uh, ad adhering to the spirit of the, of the game. Did you throw your hands up? I was pogging up a little. I mean, there were only 20 second sprints, so like that's, that's no big deal. A 20 second sprint during Good Charlotte's The Anthem. I mean, I was born in 1988, as Malf would say. It's like I was made for this. LCD sound system interval was no joke. I mean, that was the easiest part of the ride for me, but uh, I was I was enjoying having a little bit of time at 60 cadence because I didn't spend the whole ride there. I'm not trying to subtweet you, you know. I'm just I'm letting my own insecurities show with the first thing that pops into my head. I'm just saying. I got a plus two from Keith Jr. That's all I needed. I thought we were in a good place. It's just a bit of banter. It's just a bit of banter, mate. I will enjoy the time off. Thank you for the, the kind sentiment. The only bad part is... I'm gonna fall behind on the annual on, my, on the Peloton right now. Right now, me and Amy YB are fighting it out for... Uh, the most... Uh, Oh, hang on. Minutes of all of my followers slash following list from 2000 to 2023. We're within like half an hour of each other, but uh, two weeks away is gonna be. It's gonna have an impact there, but we'll just have to go hard when we come back. Hey, Kinana, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Much appreciated. All, it's all. It's the the Peloton stuff is just banter. I mean, you can tell you're smoking me because uh, the people that I have a tendency to, to beat on the Peloton, I don't make many jokes at their expense. I did laugh today, though, when I tweeted that, imagine how good beef jerky must feel when it goes in your mouth after being in that dry-ass bag for so long, and then... D.L. Guiga, a.k.a. Midwestern Emo, said beef jerky is like 20% water content by weight. And then someone in the Discord said, me, I'm extremely thirsty. D.L. Guiga, did you know that oxygen is 25% water? I thought that was extremely funny. And then I replied. You, you may have seen it. I utilized Discord's reply function for once. And I said, yeah, get his ass. Okay, okay, I'm gonna fight this guy for three hours. We would have never seen that attack before. <clears throat> okay, I think I got one more in me. Me when I'm Moomin Rider and I pass NL on the Peloton. I mean, I got my own bone to pick with Moomin Rider. My, mo my bone to pick with Moomin Rider is uh, why is it that the first ride you're in every day, you always PB, and then the second ride you're in, it's like your legs broke. Like, you have, I, I get that it's a race. Don't get, I'm out of gas, man. <laughs> well, then don't use all your fucking gas on the first race, because you're making me use more of my gas than I intend to use it on the first ride as well. I got three fucking rides. Moomin Riders riding Floyd Landis mode for the first half hour. 
So I'm riding Floyd Landis mode for the first half hour. Then the second time, I'm the second half hour, I'm riding Floyd Landis mode because it's every day, bro. And I see you like, you know, falling behind. Why don't we do each other a favor and we'll just... I don't know the name of any like mediocre professional cyclist, but... Yeah, little bro thinks there's Gattaca for real. He didn't save anything for the swim back. Check out this week's savings at Costco.ca. David Devani Megan three-piece top grain leather living room set, 4999 delivered after $1,500 off. Nah, it's okay. I'm, I'm all right. I don't, I don't think I need a modern fabric armless power chaise lounge. On the other hand, what about a diamond cut teardrop filigree design pendant in yellow gold? Champion 12,000 watt running, 15,000 watt peak portable generator with electric start. How can a generator have an electric start? Isn't that like uh, infinite energy? You ever hear of capacitors? Not in any meaningful context that makes any sense to me, quite frankly. <laughs> Going diamond in lamp lighters in the lamp lighters league. And then load, and I'm going to get a Coke Zero. I'll be back in 15 seconds, if I had to guess. Time me. I'll knock your dad flying, wee man. It's every day, bro. Oh, my Lanta, what is this? What is this? It's the hot bun. It's, is this the, the famed Ube Mochi bun? It is. Holy cow. Have you ever tried it? I've never tried it before in my yeah. entire life. It's dense. It's, it's heavy. Not yet, but that's delicious. When you get the bite of mochi, it's even more. That's mighty tasty. Holy cow. Thank you. Is everybody going on the mission this time? I, I'm happy to have Eddie with me, honestly, because I kind of missed his firepower last time. It's not the same Nero. What, is it the guy who invented the uh, CD burning software? Tomo! Look at this, everybody. Well, well, oh, hello. Here we are. He made an Box appearance. We're, first, we're going to chill. We're not going to clamber. There will be no clambering. We will hide. Don't don't come this way. Don't come this way. You don't want to come this way, okay? Okay. I mean, honestly, bro, I'm going I'm going hot because if I just shoot this barrel, like it's over for you. You're you're all gonna die. This is not a stealthy start, but we might get a five tap with a single action point. I mean, I don't think we killed everybody, but we <laughs> certainly did some damage. <laughs> In fact, we didn't kill anybody. But... Oh, you gotta feel like one frag grenade goes pretty hard here. Oh! Okay, I think you're probably toasted. Now, let me, let me see Ingrid here. It does seem to me like she could just... Uh, she could get a little punch drunk in here. Am I, am I crazy to assume? I don't believe so. So you, you'll have one HP left. That's a slap in the face. We'll start here. I mean, this is just brutal. Even easier than falling in love. <laughs> this will be our last freebie. But then we'll get another opportunity. We What's 20% chance to crit? I mean, you're already knocked. I would love to, to have a 20% chance to kill you. 
And then we could also take our free move out of the way, and it blinds them. Okay, take a, I'll take my free move to go behind cover, please. Sucks that we didn't get the crit, but is it certainly a reasonable opportunity? I'll take a quick move myself out to here, and if we could just kill the only living unit, that would be great. Well, that, that was the greatest initiate of, of my career, for sure. Now, young Edward, if we could get you behind cover and just have you enter Overwatch, I'd feel thrilled. Not so fast. <laughs> he really thought he was on to something, huh? Okay, everybody group up on Eddie. Good work. Look at this thing. <laughs> What's the purple? I don't know what Ube is, but it's Ube. Oh, plus 64 ink? It's very tasty. The agents have proven themselves willing to tempt fate. Their tableaus can now carry two undrawn hand cards. Allowing, did you see this synergy phrase? Allowing for potent synergy? Debuff ability, enemies in target area lose speed. Uh, honestly, I don't think this is like incredible. But I do think that I aim to say a lot. slowing down a, a pod of melee enemies could be kind of sick. Hey, this is an amazing donut. No wonder they're sold out almost every time you go. I don't want to know the nutritional information because this donut, it weighs like half a pound. You have it. You have the keystone. But it is, it is delicious. Yeah, but it has no aspartame. Plus, plus two, DL Guiga. Plus two. The fire At Cyber Drunk Zero, did you hear that? We, we referenced you in a joke. Before, We're all friends again. Did you see the WHO said aspartame is worse for you than Coke and Pepsi have led us to believe? Literally, WHO? Damn it. I need to well, link that to me, Mr. please. Sawyer Can you pass that to me? Mind. The rest of us have work to do. I would like to use my own eyeballs. I would like to use my elf ears to study the Finding discourse the there. Tower. Here's what we do. We stay low. We walk behind you. Uh, we kill you. Back to the shadows. We kill you. And then we bolt. Oh my god, it worked. Hey, guys, guys, come on. Okay, get, get the frick behind cover. <laughs> We're gonna have Celestine first. She's gonna come in here, do a couple of. Uh, she shouldn't be standing right next to this guy. Oh, oh, that was not the move that I thought it was. My mistake. Taste but my blade. at least she she literally said taste my blade, bro. She literally said taste my blade. <laughs> okay, she takes her free move, and then this enemy is mentally broken. So we kill them instantly. Okay, that was a, like a really good engagement. I was saying Taste My Blade is a joke, but not everybody thought it was uh, it was funny. A uh, quick little frag grenade for the road, and you know what? I'm a simple man. I am a, I'm a simple man. What if we just enter psycho mode here and then open up the engagement with, with one of these bad boys? I think we would describe that as going loud. And it, it bothers me not, although it did take one of your AP, which is kind of annoying. You're going to be on one. That's, that's unfortunate as well. Okay, we take the shot. We take the shot. Don't shoot that. No, 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 no. Yes, right there. And you know what? Why not shoot 
whatever the, a water barrel sure why not make it make dance? it slippery here he missed all three enemies and critted the water barrel okay either way take one of these worth eddie eddie is good now we figured him out He died. <laughs> Dude literally said, I got you. Youch! As Chibli would say. I can't really do a good John Arbuckle youch. I'm working on it though. Youch! <laughs> And the court will find it hard to run a worldwide operation without radios. You need to upgrade Punching Lady so she does 40 damage? I know, because I that's why I got all that Aether on this mission, so I can give her like little brass knuckles or something like that. And she could say, she can give you one of these. I'll send you da flying, wee man. NL, can you say something controversial for engagement? People underrate cheese pizza. A, a, a well-made pizza? If it's from a, a half-decent no. pizzeria, cheese is a good way to experience it. Because be you get to taste okay. the crust and the sauce and the cheese without the distraction of other toppings. Like a well-made pizza does not necessarily get anything by having like green peppers on it now i'm not saying i'm against green peppers i'm simply saying that you, you can get a lot out of just the you know the basics oh my god i don't even have anything i can do to you if a second checkout line opens up who gets priority middle of the line or end of the line Too slow. this is this is fake questioning the person who gets priority if they open up a new checkout lane adjacent to yours is the closest person to the front of the line who doesn't have any of their groceries already on the conveyor belt. If your groceries are on the conveyor, you just eat it. You're not gonna pull your groceries off and move them to a new conveyor. So usually that will be the third person in line. I'm going to pass away and die. It's a free for all, fastest person gets it. Bro, we live in a society, okay? Am I crazy for not putting my groceries on the belt until the person in front of me finishes paying? Yeah. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, yeah, definitely. That's crazy, in my opinion. I mean, like, what's, what, what is that protecting you from? In case it takes them forever to pay for, you're gonna, like, eat your cart to the left and go in the other aisle? I'll under, I, I recognize it's kind of annoying that sometimes, like, once you're in, you're in. But you, you can live with it. I wouldn't worry about it all that much, I guess is what I'm Takes trying to say. Blade. Sure, okay. If you got, like, two things, that's fine. But if you've got multiple things, more multiple than two, I suppose, I think you just gotta... You just gotta take the L on that one. You just gotta... Exp you just gotta do what you can do. I refer to the law of you snooze, you lose. One day... I know that you're 21 right now, and it feels like it won't happen. But one day, you're gonna be snoozing. If only you could see the one day, you're gonna have picture. no choice but to snooze. And then you're gonna lose every day as a result of your worldview. Streamer's rich, he probably uses Instacart. First off, you deserve to have nice things. We're not doing that thing where somebody goes, this is what $270 gets you at the grocery store these days, and then we go, oh yeah, but you bought cut honeydew, as if that somehow invalidates that food's expensive these days. Um, secondly, I do all my own grocery shopping by hand, and I enjoy it. It's one of my favorite hobbies, quite frankly. So suck on that, Kinana. How developed is your pee organ? Um... Me personally, I say it's about average developed. Mostly because I don't know what that means. <laughs> Alright, phase one done.
get cooked, buddy. How many attacks? There was like a 20 attacks. I do have to be right next to the boss to hit them. <laughs> Just block. Okay, honestly, like we, we, it just sounds like cope, but I'm telling you, we were like 80% of the way to killing the boss. And then um, chat said, you should really swap the handle on your weapon. You have an advanced scaling handle with a technique scaling weapon. Just change your handle, bro. So then I went to the, by the way, Taser Lad, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I went back to the K-pop blacksmith and I changed my handle. And then they were like, oh, no, no, no. Now you're using a slashing handle with a stabbing blade. So that was just a complete disaster. So now I had to go back. And now I've got an even smaller handle on my weapon, but it, it does do slightly more damage, although still not very much. But that one's more my fault than anything else. I think I probably could have... could have specced myself a little different. Why does he have no ulti? Excuse me. My ulti is when I apply toothpaste to my... Uh, my toothpick. <laughs> You need an ulti on this guy? I, do, I have an ulti. I apply Aqua Fresh to my toothpick. I mean, I, we, we gotta pivot off this weapon for sure. I mean, there's more bosses after this. So for people saying, like, why would you ever want to get a better weapon for beating this boss? By the, it's the weapon you get by beating this boss. There's more game after this. This is not the end. I know you're used to Honkei Scar, Star Rail, where the hardest boss of all is when your credit card gets declined because of the fact that uh, they trigger an anti-fraud release. Is there like, wait a second, what is this company, Vohio? It seems like your information has been compromised. And then it's the hardest boss of all, making a phone call to a call center. That's a bummer. You need alt? Kate, okay, at this point, it's like we put the the destination into the GPS like two hours ago. And now that we're six blocks away after a three hour road trip, you're like, oh, I want to stop at this particular restaurant. It's too, it's too late. We're not changing weapons to get an ult. We learned the, we learned the, the muscle memory for this pattern. Is he too proud to use summons? I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm having a good time. What is wrong with you? I know we said it on the last boss. The the fun ends when you beat the boss. I would like to get the credit for beating the boss myself. But your ass is in, you know, you just entered college and you're like I'm going to graduate in 3 years. Brother, it doesn't get any better than this. If anything, you should take five years. Electric's good against puppets. Kate, you of all people should know. What's the most important part of beating a boss in Rise of P? Believing, exactly. <laughs> Being good, exactly. It's not the Sastus Run Reborn. This is just one boss, okay? That stings. That hurts. At some point, we're gonna beat this guy. We're gonna get his. I'm told that his weapon is the ideal weapon. Wait, this isn't the last boss? It's like streaming to like a 5,000 Joshes. <laughs> Is this the filter? Is this Baltius? No, unlike Armored Core 6, this game is actually hard. Um, every boss in this is harder than Baltius. Secondly, no, just because it's a, a boss that's difficult doesn't mean it's the last boss. We're only like 20 hours into the game, man. That's, we're on like boss 4. We ain't even got the, the Pinocchio Lord Vessel yet. 
Okay, to die to that attack is a little embarrassing. The King is a final boss name. Uh, excuse me? Final boss, Dark Souls 1, Lord of Cinder. If we were fighting the Lord of Puppets, I would understand. But the King of Puppets, no chance. Final boss of Dark Souls 2, Tall Lady. If I was fighting Tall Lady, I would think that we're on the final boss. Final boss of Dark Souls 3, Slave Knight Gale. This is just simply the King of Puppets. It's not even close. Final boss of Dark Souls 4, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder 2. Oh, you didn't hear that from me, by the way. What am I doing? I've forgotten how to fight phase one. <laughs> in Dark Souls 2, her name is Queen Nishandra. No, that's in. If you learn Japanese and you play in Japanese, it's Tall Lady. She's a fragment of the soul of Manus. She's actually. Oh, see you later. She's a fragment of the soul of Maenus. Because she's the easiest enemy to defeat in the entire game. Can't even walk anymore. So true. Are you also going to be away from the Peloton for the next two weeks? I think so. Um, I think so. So, DL Guiga, this is your opportunity to catch up to me in the, uh, in the annual. I mean, I'm hitting that 20,000 minutes stretch goal without a doubt in 2023. That's not even up for debate. But the egg carton, ride on in my absence. I might be able to fit in some workouts, but it's definitely... Uh, it's going to be spotty. Uh-oh, thumbnails. Here, just kill me real quick. There's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. People say, why doesn't he tell us earlier that he's going to go on vacation? As soon as I tell you, the next like X hours until the vacation starts is just me getting shit on by chat banter. That's the reason I don't tell you earlier. People are like, where are you going? I'm not fucking telling you. You'd, you've lost the privilege of knowing, quite frankly. Next time, I'm not even going to tell you. No! It is funny, though. When I'm playing SAP, people are like, oh, SAP again. When I'm saying I'm going to be away for two weeks, people are like, what am I going to do without my SAP? I'm just saying. Maybe if you took the absence makes the heart grow fonder energy and you applied it when I was actually here, I wouldn't need to take so many vacations. Must be rough. I'm not actually complaining. I'm complaining about the response to the complaint. Like, it's crazy that Lisa from TWICE can be out here at the electric horse in Paris and everyone's like, oh, she's serving Mother Energy. I'm so happy for her. Meanwhile, my ass is like... I need a little bit of rest and relaxation time or I'm gonna, like, literally lose my mind. And people are like, no, brother, play shit we don't care about anymore. <laughs> No, I know how it is, though. You only knew that you... You only thought you didn't like it until... Ooh! You knew it was going away for a couple weeks. When you had the opportunity to take it for granted, you're like, this shit sucks. Now that all of a sudden it's going to break some routine, you're like, ah, I, I, I've got a huge uh, boner for Sap. Oh, he's going to miss a good weekly. It's a good weekly this week. I understand. Fucking Groucho Marx. I wouldn't want to be a part of a club that would have me as a member-ass, no-soap radio type 1953 duck soup-ass discourse. Okay, you're, you're entitled to start your stream at 2, of course. I got to go a little longer if it takes me a while to kill this guy. Because there's no way I'm coming back. October 18th and and starting from this point. That's just madness. It's fine as long as you remember to pick up our daughter. Oh, I, I'm, that's the way that that's phrased. It's like, like it's happened in the past before. I'm there. Not only am I there every day. I'm, my ass is there early every day. We don't deserve the... We don't deserve the ass on that one. My parents forgot to pick me up too. I was out for like three hours. I, but I, that wasn't me, okay? 
I have sympathy for that, but I, I'm, I'm a good dad. <laughs> Wallet check, keys check, phone check. Oh shit. Prefer to pick me at daycare, so easily forgotten. I'll plus to you for that one. It's a mean image. I, I, I've seen the one, the one with Obama running back into the White House that says, oh shit, the easily, the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. I deserve that one. <laughs> Way better than the beef jerky tweet. DL Guiga, you got cooked, brother. Just own getting cooked. That's what happens when you become a known quantity. People start gunning for your ass every day. The beef jerky tweet, and I quote, Imagine how good beef jerky must feel when it gets put in your mouth after spending so much time in that dry-ass bag. That tweet is pretty good. But then you're coming out here giving me the cinema sins in the Discord. Beef jerky is 20% water by mass. I can't. Did you see the, the reply that cooked you in the Discord? They said, me, I'm so thirsty. DL Guiga, did you know the air is actually 20% water? There's no shame in being cooked. When you're, when you're a known quantity, it's harder to defend yourself. Everybody knows your weaknesses. What is the new It's Blue song, by the way? Is it I'm blue and I'm having a really nice time? I heard it at, uh, at the arena last year. One of the crazy things about being a millennial right now, maybe this is true of all generations, I can't speak to that quite frankly, but songs that sucked when they came out but are sacred because they played a part in your childhood are now like getting covered in songs that are making it to number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100 and people my age are getting mad about them. We're just going to start building from the hero here. They're like, hey, man. Listen, I understand that there's like an evolution to music, but at the same time, iPhone 65's Blue is a classic. Don't besmirch the good name of iPhone 65 by just changing the words, okay? Then meanwhile, they're like, have you seen the Johnny Cash music video? The cover of Hurt that he did? It goes crazy. You can remake it, but don't make it bad. Brother, it started bad. I know this is like a, uh, it's the oldest take in the world, but like if you hear a song on the radio, there's like a 85% chance, if not more, that it's bad. So like the second you start to be like, oh no, they're playing like a shitty song on the radio, you should remind yourself, oh yeah, it's the radio. That's where shitty songs get played. There's rare exceptions, don't get me wrong. Okay, now don't lose all your HP immediately this time. Wait for it. Heal. We got you with a toothpaste, brother. Okay, that's a, a very nasty attack. Also a very nasty attack. Stay out of my face, you big disgrace. I've done 10% of his HP. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for, uh, for this little stick poking device to have about 25% more range. Change weapons, please. Nine minutes left in the stream. About to go on vacation for two weeks. Your boss pops down a new memo in your email. What do you do? I pretend not to see it personally. School gets out at 2.30. It's 2.15 the day before summer vacation. They say, hey, by the way, don't forget to hand in your final assignment. You're going to a different school next year. W-Y-D. My ass is... It, saying I need to go to the bathroom urgently and then I'm just hopping on the school bus. I finish strong? Well, you know what? I do respect that as well. Huge. Get poked a single time. Okay, okay, you punished me. I wanted it.
Nothing has ever been as greedy as I was right there. It's not getting better, okay? <laughs> he baited me. This is like, don't get greedy. That's greed. That's greed. Insane. down to business. Oh. Don't get up. Oh. Oh. Really? Me personally, me personally, I don't think I got hit by that, but code is law. I think we need to, like, 75% of the time, we do well enough on the first phase. We just need, like, a C plus first phase and then an A minus second phase, and we're off to the races. Never forget, there was a time this lab was impossible. Now he looks positively fraudulent. It's funny that at first I didn't believe that there could possibly be a phase two on this boss. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm like, this dude, he's like nothing. Okay, that's just pure greed. That one was not greed, that was just badly timed. That was, uh, I will follow it up with a second, badly timed. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Do I have a mark on the top of my head? These headphones are fucking squeezing the shit out of my head. I feel like it's backwards from the way it's supposed to be. I remember there was like that Tim the Tapman clip where he talks about having a dent in his head because of the headphones. People like came into my chat. They're like, do you have a dent in your head? I was like, no, that doesn't happen to me. That was when I was fat. How was, how was I running dentless when I was fat? And now that I'm skinnier, it leaves the dent. It should be the opposite, right? It should be, it's just bone and skin up there now. Is it a good time to ask about Vanguard versus BlackRock? I think it's as good a time as any, which means no, but... Here's the thing, okay? I see... BlackRock competes with Vanguard by having, like, a very, very slightly lower MER on their all-in-one ETFs, okay? However, have you ever considered that Jack Bogle's the original? Have you ever considered that Jack Bogle's the GOAT? So as a result, we stand Vanguard. We're willing to pay them two basis points. We're willing to pay them 20 basis points instead of 18 to say thank you for uh, 
revolutionizing the passive investment index. Bulga's dead. I do know that, of course. But Vanguard's also a co-op, which I think is kind of sick. Two Estes. Okay, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Don't let them down. Okay, this is quite the arc on that attack. Huge break. Okay, fair enough. You've never seen greed like this before. <laughs> then he's gonna do a fire attack? Run, run. He'll probably do it once more. Okay, okay, fair, fair. I swear to you, with God as my witness, I was mashing Lodge. Like nobody's business. He's nowhere near me. I honestly, I, did, I didn't even know what I was looking at that time. We're knocking on the damn door. He's too blue to read. I mean, the dude was, uh, he was positively covered with tooth whitening material. Thoughts on ice cream floats with Diet Coke? I, I haven't had an ice cream float, to be honest with you, since I was, I was probably like nine years old. I love the idea. I'd rather eat them separately. Of course it's DLD gun. DL Guiga be like, sounds like it would spike my insulin. Come on, bro. We're, we're having a good time. We're bringing back memories of 1950s Americana. We're going to the malt shop together, okay? Not everything can be about sunny day real estate. If you and Kate are live, who TF got the kid? Daycare? It's kind of crazy. She's going to school in like 11 months. What? Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? Preschool at three, junior kindergarten, as we call it in Canada. I think we do start one year earlier in Canada versus the U.S. But it's all—it's partly because, like in the U.S., at least in Washington, apparently it's like the birthday is based on. I'm—I'm I'm trying to figure out how to explain it while also facing this like nightmare boss. In the U.S., though, you start school year. You start your school year based on like the September you turn four or something like that. Whereas in Canada, it's not based on September. It's based on like the calendar year. I guess the easiest way to illustrate it is like, at least in British Columbia, everybody in a class, unless they skip the grade or there's something else going on, everybody in the class is born in the same calendar year. Whereas like in some states, it's more, what? You will have some kids born like late 2020 or early 2021, right? Yeah, so like, when my daughter goes to school, well, let me just put it this way. When, when I was in school, as a November birthday, I was like one of the youngest kids in my class. Whereas I think if I went to an American school, the oldest kids in the class, rather than being born in January, are born in 
like October? November? Yeah, November is one of the oldest. Oh, man, interesting. And they say our countries are the same. <laughs> Look at the stark differences. See, the thing is, at American school, they're like, ah. At Canadian school, they're like, ah. I graduated at 17 because I skipped the grade. You know what's interesting? Kate and I have a difference of opinion on skipping grades. Unfortunately. Neither of us did skip a grade, so I'm not going to flatter myself. You know, it's, one of, it's a parenting question that comes up. If they suggested that your kid could skip a grade, would you take them up on it? I'm, uh, I'm kind of against it. Especially, like, in elementary school. Why would you want to be... Just looking at it for, like, a number of reasons. First off, if she's having a good time in school, like, let's extend that as long as possible. Let's delay paying for college if that's the route that she decides she wants to go with her life. But then, secondarily, why would I want her at 16 to be competing? No, I'm dead. Yep. Uh, with 17, 18, and 19 year olds for getting into undergrad. I don't really want, like, like the idea of having a child go to college at like 15 or 16, not even like for social reasons, but just like, so your ass graduated from college at like, uh, at 18. So what? What are you going to do? Maybe this is like hater parlance, but I kind of feel like if you graduate, you know, if you want to become like a doctor, okay, you finish like your residency at like 25 instead of 27 or something like that. Who cares? <laughs> Big whoop. I mean, I guess if, if it keeps your kid challenged and that keeps them more engaged in school as a result okay i can understand that i guess you got to it's not that easy right there's always the temptation to say like it should always be like this or be like that but clearly it worked out for all of us because here we are bar would ruin Ryan forever? I mean, it's probably true. I imagine I have, like, negative nicotine tolerance. I've entertained the idea of becoming, like, an edible guy. I just see myself at night. Like, I could use some relaxation, quite frankly. And alcohol is just not good for you. Not that, you know, an edible necessarily would be, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it is like a Sour Patch Kid. Do they even make, like, like normie edibles? Or are they all, like, for insane people now? I don't even know what a, what a normal guy dose would be. Like, the kind of dose that would make it so I wouldn't have, like, a psychic break. Because I've never known what dose I've taken in the past. I've always eating stuff cooked for me or my friend in college would show up with a Ziploc bag full of green grass and then I mean the high tides were forever so I have oh well <laughs> alright alright we got like 10 minutes, then I gotta go. D don't lie to me. Listen, I know metric. People said a normal dose is like a thousand milligrams. You could probably cut it in half. You trying to kill me? <laughs> why not just call it a gram? Me explaining to the doctor, hey, why are you giving me 3,000 cc's of uh, saline solution? Shouldn't you really just call it three liters? Oh, what, you're kicking me out of the hospital? They need to go back to bad weed? Well, I'll take it a step further. I don't think maybe everybody's ready to hear this right now. I think we should go back to bad beer, too. I think we made a mistake. Craft beer is great, but, like, 
We got way too many double IPAs, triple IPAs, stuff like that out there. Seven and a half percent fucking huge IBU. We gotta go back to like every company just makes like a lager and a pale ale. Maybe a Rattler in the summertime. I'm I'm not focused. I'm not moisturized. I'm not living my best life right now. I know we haven't beaten this guy, but even this guy is starting to feel a little fraudulent. We got a ways to go before I can back that up, but I'm no longer scared of him. First few times we fought him, we were running scared. Now I got nothing against hanging in there. It's just the fire attack that's like truly menacing. I lived, bitch. I got no Estus, but I lived. You don't really want to be that close to the stage. Okay, maybe we got a little bit more in us. With more Estus, that fight could have been better. Has he fought White Lady yet? Brother, you blink and you missed it with White Lady. As soon as I saw her, I said she's weak to back shots. Had her tapping out in like three minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm proving that I deserve the Estus. I'm not popping the Estus. I think I'm hot. I think I'm hot. Okay. This post has been fact-checked to true by American Patriots. Horrible start. <laughs> oh, man. Well, see, as soon as I healed, it all fell apart. You can heal or pace, you can't do both. Yeah. You know, there's no word for blue in ancient Greek. Really? It's crazy, because like every Greek restaurant is like white and blue tiles. Colorblind or like what? They were like, it's by that tile over there with the unidentifiable stripe in it. What am I? I'm, liter I'm literally just spamming the attack button. They didn't have Lapis back then? Of the Lazuli variety? Hello, what about the sky? <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't think about that. That's a good point. I guess they probably... Did they have the sky in ancient Greece? Or is that an American invention? I also need to recenter myself. I'm going to glance at... The outdoors. I'm going to remind myself the world is bigger than this little box. I'm going to get some vitamin D. Do you get vitamin? Do you synthesize vitamin D by looking at the sun? Because if so, I don't need to take my multivitamin today. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to focus. Yeah, look, he's scared. He's backing it up. He knows. He knows it's not going 3,000. 2,999? Maybe. But we're not going 3,000. Whoever in chat typed stop glancing, you saved my life. I looked at one message in chat, the message said stop glancing. That's just bad timing, it happens. A tornado! Oh 
shit. Okay, now, this is your moment. Not, not to get greedy. I would settle for three Estus on, on phase two. I could do something with that. Set over two Estus on this guy. That one I should have blocked. Chill, brother. Okay, now I'm now we're on an even playing field. I got the fluoride toothpaste. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm scared of that. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of that. I'm scared of that a little bit. I'm scared of not having Stam. Up. He's not going fire mode yet. Bad. Good. Very nice. Give me a little more. No fire attack, please. I was, I've been waiting for fire attack for so long. Get close. Yummy! <laughs> the hell, it was so easy? It wasn't hard at all? I'm telling you, man, acidic crystal. It's the way to go. Hey, Crack Dota, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Slash marker me, please. Slash marker lies of P. Okay, I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy yourself. Have a good night. I don't think I'll be live on Monday. Hey, librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. So, uh, Burkholz, thank you as well. I will be here... Probably on the 18th. I'll keep you guys posted intermittently. Rest assured, I will be taking a, a much needed period of rest and relaxation. I'll see you closer to Halloween. Enjoy yourself. And don't do anything I wouldn't do by October the 18th, okay? See ya. Don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shag well shagged him real well to place a homing 
device where no one dared to dwell.